Sarah, welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're going to study a scene from a movie called Lolita. Lolita is a film made by Stanley Kubrick in 1962 and it's based on a novel of the same name which was published in 1955. The story is about a university professor in his 40s called Humbert who becomes obsessed with a young girl. At the start of the movie, Humbert is looking for a room to rent for the summer and he goes to a house which is owned by a woman called Mrs. Hayes. Mrs. Hayes shows him around the house but he's not really keen to move in until he sees her daughter, Lolita, lying in the garden and then he decides to move in. I think this is a good conversation to study language that's used to persuade people to buy something or do something. Here are some things that Mrs. Hayes says to try and persuade Humbert to move in. She says, oh you must see the garden before you go. You must. Must is used to make a suggestion. Oh you must have some chocolate cake, it's delicious. I use have to to make a suggestion instead of must. It means the same thing in this situation. Oh, you have to see the garden before you go. Oh, you have to have some chocolate cake. It's delicious. Another thing Mrs. Hayes says is, I can offer you a comfortable home, a sunny garden, a congenial atmosphere. Congenial is a formal word which I've never used. I think it means nice or pleasant. When Humbert asks about the price, Mrs. Hayes says, Oh, well, something nominal, let's say 200 a month. A nominal amount of money means a very small amount of money. And her final attempt to persuade him is this. She says, you couldn't find better value in West Ramsdale. And then he decides to move in and he says, you are a very persuasive saleswoman, Mrs. Hayes even though the reason he decided to move in wasn't because of her sales pitch, it was because of her beautiful daughter lying in the garden. <laughs> Kia ora, in Stick News today, researchers in the United States have developed a new kind of paper called Bucky Paper, which they say is potentially 500 times stronger than steel. CNN has reported that Bucky Paper could revolutionise the way everything from planes to TVs are made. Apparently there's been great hopes for Bucky Paper for some time, but now researchers at Florida State University say they have made important progress that may soon turn hype into reality. Bucky paper is expensive, but the researchers are developing manufacturing techniques which will make it cheaper to produce. A spokesperson for a missile company which is helping fund the research said, this very well could be a very, very game-changing or revolutionary technology to the aerospace business. And that was Stick News for Tuesday the 21st of October. Kia ora. Today's word is decisive. Decisive is an adjective which means very important for the final result of a particular situation. Mrs. Hayes asks Humbert, what was the decisive factor? My garden? She's asking him, what was the thing that made you decide to move in? And he replies, I think it was your cherry pies. Which is a lie, because it was actually her daughter. Decisive also means able to decide something quickly and with confidence. The opposite of this is indecisive. This is an example of being indecisive. I kind of want to go to the party, but I'm not sure. Can't really decide if I want to go or not. I mean, it'll probably be fun, but I'm kind of tired too. And I heard that she was going, and if she's going to be there, well, I can't really be bothered talking to her. I don't know. What do you think? Should I go or not? Well, uh, we haven't discussed how much. Yes, that's very... Yes, that's very reasonable. Well, it's, it's very nice. 
when would it be convenient for you to have me move in? Both my bags are in the taxi. You are a very persuasive saleswoman, Mrs. Hayes. I think it was your cherry pies. Oh, you must see the garden before you go. You must. My flowers win prizes around here. They're the talk of the neighbourhood. Voila, my yellow roses, my daughter. Darling, turn that down, please. I can offer you a comfortable home, a sunny garden, a congenial atmosphere, my cherry pies. Oh, well, something nominal. Let's say uh, 200 a month. Including meals and uh, late snacks, etc. <laughs> You couldn't find better value in West Ransdale. Right now, I mean, it would be silly for you to go to a hotel, Monsieur. Thank you. What was the decisive factor? My garden? Why is Humbert visiting Mrs. Hayes's house? A. To see the garden. B. To have some cherry pie. C. He is looking for a room to rent. C. What does Humbert see in the garden? A. Cherry pies. B. Mrs. Hayes's daughter. C. His bags. B. What does Humbert think of Mrs. Hayes's offer of 200 a month? A. It's too expensive. B. It's very reasonable. C. It's outrageous. B. When does Mrs. Hayes say Humbert can move in? A. Right now. B. Tomorrow. C. Next week. A. Where are Humbert's bags? A. At the hotel. B. In the garden. C. In the taxi. C. And that was The Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.